What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about Jeepers Creepers again in this video here today. Talking about Jonathan Breck in specific and talking about some other things that were originally supposed to happen with the franchise. Apparently according to Jonathan Breck who we know starred as the Creeper in the original trilogy under Victor Salva. And basically this occurred at the cult classic convention. I'm, I'm assuming this is over the weekend of February 25th and the 28th. Uh so basically so this past weekend then I, I think so basically this is coming to me from david Pauly. shout out to you you reach out to me sometimes on social media and i know you watch my videos as you guys heard at the end of my last jeepers creepers video i did say that jonathan breck recently said that he would do the creeper again for lunch money and i believe in other videos i've stated that i don't think he would even bother doing it for free almost <laughs> so for him to joke like that of course he's joking he would want to get paid in some fashion but I, I really truly do think that if it came down to it he would do it for the bare minimum because he just loves doing it that much and that's what he's known for you can't no disrespect to him but you can't tell me a single jonathan breck movie that you are run, running out of your way to go see besides that movie the jeepers creepers movies minus the third one because i i haven't watched that one since 2018 i, I just can't fi find it in myself to watch that one <laughs> not this soon I, I need more time but jumping into it so apparently breck was at the panel and i have this image here for you to see he was one of the guests there so someone had asked if he'd be the creeper again and his response was for lunch money he would do it in a heartbeat and that they just need to ask i don't think they're going to ask you to be the creeper again sadly um and honestly just to talk about that real quick the problem isn't jaru benjamin reprising the creeper as much as it is or playing the creeper as much as it is the makeup i don't think the problem is the actor that's not what i think a lot of people have a problem with they have a problem with the makeup and i hear where you're coming from we still need to see it though in its finalized polished in screen on screen how it's going to work with with all the tricks that they've now done in the final touches from post-production what is this going to look like jaru benjamin could knock it out of the park with the mannerisms and everything but that look could be the thing that makes makes it or breaks it for people because i even admittedly i could say that jonathan breck being in that makeup looking like that i don't think that that would be something that a lot of people would be sold on again if the makeup is bad i i truly do think that it's it's the makeup that people have a problem with it's not jaru benjamin the the fact that they're using a slimmer build individual who is taller than jonathan brick it's nice because again he is reawakening it goes along with the fact that he's been in he's been hibernating for the past 23 years hasn't eaten anything goes right in line with how he looks hanging in taggart's barn and hopefully he'll start to build himself bulk up over the course of the movie or he might just remain shriveled up throughout this movie but the, the main main problem isn't the actor as much as it is the makeup, I think, for a lot of people, because Jonathan Breck hasn't been the only person who's played the Creeper throughout this franchise. You had Justin Long played at one point, but that was only very brief. But there's images you can go and look. And Justin Long looks incredible in that makeup. <laughs> uh, there's been times where, of course, the stunt doubles have played, played the Creeper, filling in for Jonathan Breck. And again, no one's batting an eye there, of course it's not it's not the per, the person it's what are you putting on them because again if jonathan brett came back looking like this i think you would still have that up that outrage you would still have it jonathan brett's back but why the hell does he look like that <laughs> I, I think that's really what the problem is why does he he look like that but hopefully when the movie comes out that'll all be put to put to rest and hopefully when i come out and do my review i hope i don't have anything just overly bothersome or negative about the look i hope just when i sit down and watch this movie that he just knocks it out of the park the finished product while it's different i can get behind it and grow attached to it in some way just hope it's very menacing still when we see it in action the other thing he apparently said jonathan break that being at this convention he said that jeepers creepers was supposed to be a 10 to 12 movie arc so my thing there is if that's true this would have been going on just being very b movie at that point a, a b movie franchise in a way this could have been keeping up with the saw films in the 2000s if of course it didn't go into development hell for so long with jeepers creepers 3 and you know whatever mgm had going on at the time because i know they had some bankruptcy issues that of course put put more of a dent in jeepers creepers 3 so if it was supposed to be a 10 to 12 movie arc i don't know how that would have worked out other than of course 
if you would have started doing prequels. This is me considering the fact that the Creeper originally got blown to bits in the end of the Cathedral script. There's even storyboard art that I've showcased on this channel that you can go out and search for where he's having a final encounter with this character named Rowan and Rowan places a C4 in the Creeper's mouth or something like that. And it's in a detached hand that he uses to shove down the Creeper's throat. He detonates it, Creeper gets blown to bits. Um, so there is no more Creeper. So I can only imagine this has just been a, been a collection of prequel movies or maybe they find out that there's a whole species of these things out there and they could have done something like that similar to The Descent where we thought it was a couple but no there's a whole colony of these things so maybe there's multiple creeper out there that they could have done in that arc if that indeed was the plan because i know at one point there was also talks of the cathedral script being turned into a tv series so i'm assuming that was what happened after they realized or victor did that after he realized you know i'm not gonna be able to make this let me just turn this into a 10 12 or let me just turn this into an 8 to 10 episode type of thing for a tv series so i'm guessing prior to that there were plans to do multiple movies and apparently it was 10 to 12 from what breck is saying i don't know again how true that is or if that's just him you know trying to remember conversations he had with victor I, there's no doubt in my mind that Victor Salva would have wanted to keep putting out Jeepers Creepers movies, even though going off of the first one, they had this origin like that and the mythos like that, so they couldn't make a sequel. But of course, we know Francis Ford Coppola came up with a way to convince him to get it done, setting it in the same 23 day period. So then, of course, convincing him that who's to say he wouldn't have been down to keep doing that over and over and over again, keep setting all of these movies 23 years later, or 23 years prior. Maybe we could have gotten a proper movie of Kenny and Darla, which, again, I will say this so much. That's what we should have gotten with Jeepers Creepers 3. It should have been a Kenny and Darla story. It shouldn't have been set in between one and two. It should have been set before one and two. That would have been better than what we got. But apparently that's what Jonathan Brick had to say. And the fact that he would do this for lunch money is amazing. There's no footage of this, but if any one of you were at that convention and you were talking to Jonathan Brick and you have footage of it, then please release it. <laughs> but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notification, and miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.